Welcome to the review of Flux 2 for VideoTechReviews.com When you start up the program you get the welcome screen you can select to create a new empty project create one based on a ready made template or open an existing one to the right you have a list of projects that you have created before if you have you can also disable or enable the startup screen if you select from templates you get a choice of quite a few here including things like iTunes extras and canvas example if you cancel that you'll be sent to the site manager or you can hit file no where you'll be asked to enter a save name select whether you want to save it as a standard website or a Ruby on Rails as Flux 2 does have support for Ruby on Rails for this example we'll just create a standard website and call it Untitled 2 and hit save you'll be asked if you want to create a HTML file for the index by the program or not it will also create a main CSS for you and an image folder let's just hit yes for now this is the site manager here's a list of the files in your site at the moment you just got index main CSS and your image folder up on the toolbar you have the option to publish site create a new page new CSS file new folder or packages if we select packages you get a drop down of some, a few extra options to add more sort of features to the website you can select curvy corners to apply curved corners to d divs and other elements using JavaScript Hoverbox easily create web galleries. Moo.fx, which is a effects JavaScript library to add JavaScript effects. There are also other options here, including another image gallery. I'll cancel that for now. You have delete, so if you select like index HTML, you can hit delete. Effects, which will probably not enable unless you have an effects library the help so that's double click index HTML this brings up the main interface on the main interface you have your toolbar like in most Mac applications the first option you get on there is media this brings up a media dialog to select your photos audio movies or links then you have your inspector at the moment this is pretty much blank but this is where you do a lot of your editing for editing fonts border styles things like that in CSS plus box bring down add new property which you can type property name and value then you have actions for mainly for things like CSS and move FX you select your ID, your property element, and there's an example of the script and style. Then you have sn snippets, and you can add your own code there. Then you have master elements, add your own master ID, set, set the page and stuff as, an, as a master. update update all in project and you have page this brings down this dialog box here on a Mac OS X shade you have your head elements this is where you can see your metadata and your title and you can double click to edit and then you can change like here you can change your keywords your description which is default my website but you can put description like my tech reviews things like that 
the, whatever your description of your website is. Author is set the default of Flux user. You just simply double click again, then put in your name or your company and name there instead. Link to your style sheet, the title of your page, double click to edit that and give yourself a name. Tech type, uh, doc type. This is where you select your doc type, such as XHTML, HTML 4.01, strict or traditional, or HTML5. Because this is one of the great features about Flux 2, it has support for many HTML5 elements, including the video and audio tag. I was hunting around for ages for a web designer that would allow creating at least a basic HTML5 web page. You just I know that HTML5 isn't finished yet, but many people like to uh, mess about with it and try and make video pages, things like that, and there just aren't the, the um, programs out there. Pretty much you're stuck with trying to do it yourself in a notepad. But this is actually one program which does actually have support for HTML5 already, which uh, really makes it stand out from the rest. It will ask you here, are you sure you want to change the, t change the doc type? This may affect the compatibility of your page. You can just hit change. Now if we go into code, it makes it a split screen. Here is your, what you see is what you get sort of editor. And down here is your actual HTML. As you can see, it's got a HTML5 doc tag now. If we go back to page, advanced attributes, you can also add things like on mouse over, on mouse down, on mouse up, on mouse out, key up, things like that here. Next you have layouts. Here you can select a ready sort of styled layout such as a header, sidebar, main to article area, footer. However, from what when I experimented with this, it doesn't seem to be in HTML5 yet. So if you make an HTML5 web page, you probably aren't going to want to use this layout option. But you can select to create a new CSS file for it, or use it existing, or just insert it into the a HTML document with no CSS. Then you have a help button to get your help file up for the program. Then at the far right you have edit, which is what we're in now. Preview, so you can preview your page in line. Of course you can't see anything there, so let me just go into the body of the document. And preview again and you can see it previewed like it would be in a web browser. Then you have live preview to preview it on your actual server such as mobile me. Then on the left here you have a left side panel which has your styles for CSS. As you can see there's your CSS file, main CSS, dot my style. Double click it and it will open that attribute up in the inspector which is what I mentioned earlier and you can change stuff here like the color, border, starlet, borders here, positions, fills, text, your font, your font style, your font uh, weight, family, tables etc.